Alrighty then, mic check, mic check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gents. Don't forget to smash that like button. Those likes are free, and we are on day number, what is it, 55 of the trading contest. Let's get into it here today. Gonna do something a little bit different today. We are going to start with some training. Gonna do some training first, talking about some things. Make sure you're following us over here on our social media. Really a lot of fun here on Instagram. If you really wanna be following out and having checking the behind the scenes stuff, and of course here on Discord, if you really want to learn how we earn riding through our system here. So I'm gonna talk about um, quite a few things. So today, uh, we had a $1,500 day, basically one trade and done, one and done. We talked about this yesterday. Go back. I think you'll learn a lot from yesterday's video on how I approached, you know, oh, a huge windfall day yesterday, on. biggest trading day of the entra oh, entire trading contest, um, almost one of the largest trading days of the year for me, $24,000 gross after net with commissions and Nasdaq fees. On the we had $22,000 yesterday. It's a huge day. So that is what we call a windfall day. What do we do after windfall day? I am, I have extreme levels of fear that I want to play in the market because this gives me a lot of greed. You always want to keep fear and greed in balance. These are the two forces in the markets that keep the markets moving is fear and Fit greed. Dogs. Now, Nasdaq the, the, the greed fives. kicks in, you're feeling like you're ahead of the game and you just want to prevent the following day from having big losers. I tell you to come in and play very, very cautiously if you're going to play at all or take the day off. That builds momentum into following days too. I want to talk one of the psychological things about about doing that after a windfall day as well. For me today, having coming away, even with a small win, with just a single trade, with 100%, look, now I've got Good this dogs. momentum, Nasty. right? I've built this On momentum ball that keeps rolling forward because I've got my big day and I didn't, I didn't dissuade it, right? So that extra horsepower is now being pushed into, from a psychological standpoint, Pushing into confidence now, that's another day in a row, adding on to it, and now I'm building on that and haven't given it back, right? And oftentimes those and days like that will come, difficult days right after some of your biggest easy days, etc. You guys have walked through that in our cadence videos as well. And that's some of the stuff that I wanna talk about here tonight, even on the bigger uh, picture thing before we get into the trading contest. I'm gonna show you guys the full contest results here at the end. So stay tuned for that to see the whole thing where we're at in the trading contest. We are crushing Ross Cameron and Warrior Trading by over, I think we're five times their PL in the trading contest on day 55 right now. And uh, ICT. Figures, starting with a $2,500 account with a small account. Challenge ICT, that where's that three million, bro? Ask some question today. Again, we got a lot of new folks coming in with us. A lot of people are seeing this trading contest, seeing what we're capable of doing and you know, watching not just my results, but the results of our members. I showed a lot of that. I showcased the members' results along with my own yesterday in the Mikey, that escrow that the three million, bro. Hand, I'm coming for the, it. The left side of the public escrow it, bro. Our, Time to give it to the charity. Side. Come on now. Um, but you can go through here and scroll through. Look at some of our members' results, even from today. Another new person here hitting over a thousand dollars on a day. Here's Roger. How do you do here today? Sixteen ninety-seven. Here's Nick. Thirteen seventy. Here's me at fifteen thirty-seven. Jeremiah, how do you do today? Twenty-six fifty-eight. Look at that profit factor. Two point four two. This is where we shine. Seventy-six percent profitable. Winners being two point four times the size of losers. Just amazing, amazing results. Thank you to DG. I want to give a shout out to DG. I mean, just a very special gift from one of our members. Got this in the mail today from one of our members who sent these to me. These just came out so good. Wow, good just, these look Nasty. so fantastic. Um, I love them. I put them in my hand. They feel so nice. They're nice and heavy. These things are amazing. Thank you for the Algobox coins with the infamous golden knife on the back. The beautiful Algobox embossed logo, or I guess minted. Is that is that what you call it? And of course, we've got our golden knife. Uh, some people are asking, some of the new members have been asking, so when does the golden knife, when do you get the golden knife? So after your 40-day call, get your first 40-day call with me. As soon as you're done with that 40-day call, boom, I put it into the batch to go out on that Friday. So if you're asking about how the golden knives get to you, that's how it happens after your 40-day call. And you know, there's a lot of reasons for that. And I think you know it's more of an accomplishment thing that you've reached that point and you get your golden edge right to you after you've had that call with me. And it just kind of re-solidifies psychologically where you're at in our process. Um, so. Again, results just results matter. That's what I always tell people, like focus on the results. The results matter. Look at this, 11,000. This is one of our biggest members here today. Crushed it, absolutely smashed it. Profit factor, 7.87, 66% profitable. Amazing work there, Joe. Holy cow, just outstanding work and efforts. Now, um, Ross did, what did he do? $87 today, so he had a little bit of a rough time. Again, I don't I don't know how that worked, how that happened. I really stayed away from the desk most of the time. I did, I released our website last night, and of course it's got some issues, so if you guys go to algoboxpro.com, um, the old site still has the special offer that we're doing before the new website comes out. Again, you guys can go look at the current pricing on the new website, right? The old pricing is much better. So while the old pricing is available, you may want to go over there and take advantage of that gold offer. Um, you know, just so you might want to check that out. But the new website will continue to get the bugs out of that site right now. For some reason, things are not looking right. Some of the CSS style sheets are shifting and don't look quite right. And a lot of little kinks that have to be worked out um, as we release the site to the new host. And so a lot of that's getting fixed up. Um, on that so i think that's all i want to talk about on that i feel like i'm missing something
No, I think that covers. So let me come back to um, one of the questions from one Delta of our building. members, and again, I'll, I'll keep them. Building. I'll keep them anonymous right now. Again, I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I think other people have these same questions as well. Okay. So a lot of people get really excited about coming to the program. They're seeing members who have been here a while, right? They're seeing our members absolutely crush it. And again, some of our members are, I mean, still new. We got folks in in our you know first set of six months, and they're still absolutely smashing it. So people just think on day one they're coming in, they're ready to go, and there are a lot of things that are assumptions that they get maybe even from our first videos or they've seen a video of mine out of order. They just kind of randomly went on YouTube, found a video, they heard about something. Thing they heard me talking about like this one I'm gonna talk about today is the 10,000 hour rule. This is important to understand, okay? The 10,000 hour rule is not something that I created. This is, if you go Google, go Google right now, um, or pause the video, Google, what is the 10,000 hour rule? Well, it essentially says that in order to become a master at anything in life, that it requires 10,000 hours of time put into anything that you can become a master. And that it's the contest between people saying like, are things developed by your environment or are, does it come from uh, nature or nurture? Whether were you born with the talent or did you gain the talent? And they've proven out that basically you can get the same level of talent as what you might consider a master of anything, whether it's music, uh, playing an instrument, um, you know, here in our case trading, that 10,000 hours of applied study and action, action into it, 10,000 hours, you will become a master at anything. Now, if you break this down, it works out to be approximately 3.5 to four years of time at six to eight hours a day, okay? That's a lot of time. Now, I had all of our members being like, oh, Vinny, I can't wait to do this, and then when I finish my 10,000 hours, and I'm like, time out, <laughs> okay? Okay, we gotta we got talk about some things. Yes, I'm talking about 10,000 hours to become, because I want you to know context of what it would normally take so that you know how valuable our system is, because we are compressing what would be 3.5 to 4 years of time into 120 days, because a lot of people don't understand. Like, Vinny, why why do you say it's going to take 120 days? Like, I mean, just watch your video. I know how to take, I know how to trade a headshot. Why can't I just trade headshots and go after it? Well, you can, but I'm saying master level, right? That's the difference between master level and then success, right? I mean, there's Battlefield players who are successful, Battlefield guys out there playing video games, and they're doing okay, but they're not the master. They're not the number one top on the server, right? That's that's mastery. And they're maybe good at a couple of things. They don't maybe like myself. I can, I can I'm good in the jet. I'm good in the helicopter. I'm good on the ground support. You know anything? My sniper's probably my weakest area. I'm not great. I mean, there are some super snipers. I'm not. I've never really spent time in that. But everything else, I am a full, well-rounded, I would say, master of the game of Battlefield 3. In the same way in trading, same thing. I have mastered the field of trading. I've done this 15 years now, and at a level that most people can't even achieve or get to, at quant level stuff, which is what I am allowing and providing other people to do, which gives me great joy to be able to share my tools and my rules with people and watch people succeed. You guys freaking rocking it out. But I want to square some things in your mind about this whole thing and keep things in perspective. Right there, 3.5. Think about what you've done in the last 3.5 to 4 years. Think about your Sorry, four years you might have spent in college. Think about Tuesday. the four years you spent in high school. Four years. You notice that there are four-year slots in almost everything that is major in life, whether it's school, right? Elementary school, four years. Junior high, not quite four years, so there's something weird there with the junior high, but into high school, it's four years. College, four years. Be a doctor, additional four years, right? You guys catch the whole thing? Why do you think that is? It really has to do with this 10,000 hours of mastering that, whatever that is. That can be anything. So how do we compress it? I want to talk to you guys about this because I talked to my buddy, and again, I'm not going to name names, but, you know, I had to kind of get him back on path because he's, he's super excited to get involved and I'm excited about that too for him. But, you know, cart before the horse, let's understand what I mean. And no, I don't expect that you're going to take 10,000 hours. If you start clocking in 10,000 hours, like, no, I don't expect you to be good at this, you know, four years from now. No. Okay. We're trying to compress that in 120 days. So how do we get to the 120 days and how do we get expert mastery level um, in 120 days? Well, I'm not actually telling you that you're going to be a master at 120 days, but I'm telling you, you're going to be at a point where you are going to be able to be successful in 120 days, this is our estimate, based on a couple of things. Now, if you break down 120 days into eight hour chunks, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's easy to do easier numbers. I'm just gonna round up. For 125 days at eight hours a day, long, this will equal 1,000 hours, okay? Now, I tell you guys to do market replay at what speed? 10X, okay? So if you're doing market replay at 10X speed and you do that for 1,000 hours, do you see how that can equate to 10,000 hours? Now, I'm not telling you that's what you're doing. I'm just giving you some, again, more perspective. Okay, but do you see that if you did 10x speed of market replay for eight hours a day, again, if you did this as a job for a short window of time, quite frankly, 120 days, that's not very long at all, right? It's a few months. But that to be able to master what we do, we're literally, we're sitting down here for an hour and, you know, making amounts that most people can only dream about, right? But in there, the, there's a difference between dreamers and planners. Planners make their dreams come true. Dreamers are just dreamers, okay? So you have to plan in order to make those dreams come true. This is what we're trying to teach you too. And we, it's not about just knowledge, it's about wisdom. Knowledge by itself is useless. Like knowing things, facts, whatnot, but the application of knowledge, that is wisdom. And we are applying that this is wisdom to be able to make actionable items out of the knowledge that you have, okay? Now, <clears throat> also shortening that time. How do we efficiently get you there? That is our specialty on top of that. Here's how this works, okay? Folks, please write this down and share this with people who are getting a little bit confused about things. Here is our estimate. Fit dot, nasty on the twos. 
Algobox just by having the code on your computer. Algobox, not the system, not the studies, not the, just the software itself. Okay. Okay. 3.5 years of time. So if I told you earlier that 3.5 years to four years is 10,000 hours, then if I've handed you 3.5 years of stuff, like basically you don't have to know how to do the things, you don't know how and when and where to Nasty. use them and all that kind of whatnot. If I'm taking 3.5 years of time and sticking that into software, then how much time do you need to apply to get yourself to four years? Well, 0.5 years, right? Very easy to get to four, you need 0.5, right? Equals six Good months. Dog. Nasty. Now, On the way. put that in your mind, is six months 120 days? No, because that's your next thing. You're just gonna say, well, Benny, Six months, I thought you said it was 120 Nasty. days. On the yes. You will be master level of our stuff at six months, following through, doing what I'm telling you to do in six months, master class. We're talking about being able to, to go to any level that you want. This is how our training program operates. Now, again, none of this is guaranteed. I'm not sitting here telling you and guaranteeing you that this is, this is how it's gonna work and this is how you're gonna become successful. This, I'm laying out the plan for you of how you would get there, understand? All right, trading is risky. I'm gonna say that right up front and most traders fail. If you guys don't know those stats, but you know what's funny? Did you also know that most businesses fail? A lot of people miss that. Literally 90 to 95% of businesses fail. So do you kind of understand that it's just a business at the end of the day? Think about what I just said. Pause right there, that dramatic pause moment. I'm coloring in my little heart right here. You guys understand that? Businesses fail at a rate of 90 to 95%. Thing, isn't it? We were always like, oh, I'm gonna start and go into business. Do you know how many of those people who have a dream that I'm gonna go into business and they're gonna be you know, multimillionaire? <laughs> Not very many of those succeed. What's interesting is a lot of them fail, but then on their second try, they succeed. Did you know that? Like, I think it's like a 70 to 80% of those who try again, like a second business and go at it again because they learn stuff, what not to do in their first business and the second one they oftentimes succeed in is like 70 to 80% success rate if they go to the next one, but most people don't. So the failure rate is the same. Think about what I just said on that. Okay? But also know that yes, it is risky that you could fail. Okay. And in our group, we're not saying 100% of people succeed. I would say on Algobox, if you come into Algobox, I think it's 50%. Now, I don't have actual numbers on that, so nobody going, oh, many times are 50%. Like, I don't have specific stat numbers on this. But if I had to estimate, 50% of you who are watching me, listening, who have purchased our program right now are going to succeed. And to succeed is, is relative, okay? It's to reach the level of success that you think you're going to reach. Now, do I think you're going to blow out your accounts? Which you're gonna, I don't, I'm not saying that. I think that blowing out your accounts, that's a very a low-end thing. I think it's way less than that. But I'm going to a level of success, about 50%. But going from a 90% failure rate, 90 to 95, to 50, that's pretty darn good. Okay. And I'll say, I can actually estimate about who those 50% will be. There are people who, have you ever noticed, like if you go like give the example of go get some Ikea furniture, there are people who will just go at it, get the box, get the Ikea thing, assume they know what it's going to do and go in and just start to build a thing on their own. Okay. Now some people magically make that thing and make it happen and it works and it's fantastic. Then there are the other people who study the, the, the instructions, right? And then still get it backwards and have a hard time. Like again, every person is different. People are all wired differently. Uh, there are people who can follow instructions. There are people who not. And here's where this goes with Algobox, I think, is that there are people who can learn and there are people who have a hard time learning. Think about what I just said, okay? Now, if you're one of those, can you get yourself to that other point? Yes, if you're aware, because here's what happens. I don't think anybody makes you aware that if you're a struggle person, you struggle learning, then yeah, I need you to do some extra things and just go, you know what? I know I have a hard time learning stuff, but I'm really going to do it. If any tells me to take notes, I'm going to take notes, right? Because a lot of people who didn't learn and aren't, or they think they're not good at learning. Guess what? They're also the people who never take notes. They've never taken it notes does. and they think that they took notes and they would the fail anyways. Get that mindset out of your mind. Okay. I'm trying to help you out. Take the notes. <laughs> do what I'm asking you. Put the extra effort in. If I tell you to take the notes, take the notes. All right. Because you can. I have seen. Again, we have had every different type of person come through here. And you do not need to be a genius level person to run our system. Our system simplifies it and turns it into a video game that's maybe as hard as playing Atari. Okay. There's little there's little dots and squares. It's not the most exciting game on the planet. Okay. It's not, again, first person shooter. This is like playing Pong. <laughs> okay. Um, we do take three dimensions. People say, oh, well, it's only 2D, you know, X, Y axis. No, actually, we go Z. If you actually think about ours, it is X, Y, and Z. What is the Z axis? Right. Well, that is the depth of multi time frame, layered. You understand that? Does everybody get that? Like we are a multi time frame, multi confluence system. So we have X, Y, and Z, which is how we're able to get these pinpoint entry locations. So let the tools do the work, but you need to learn the rules. But understand what I'm saying when I'm talking about that 10,000 hours, I'm not telling you that it's gonna take you 3.5 years. I had that, this is the mistake I'm trying to correct today and make sure that everybody is clear on what that meant with the 10,000 hours that I mentioned in other videos. I just say, hey, yeah, everybody knows it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert in anything. They're like, oh, okay, Vinny says I gotta study his stuff for 10,000 10, hours. No, <laughs> no, please everybody <laughs> help spread the word when they come into our room and they say those things, okay? Because again, it shouldn't just be me having to issue these corrections, but point them to this video later, <laughs> okay? Maybe we'll clip this out and put it in a separate video. Um, it's not 10,000 hours. You're not gonna spend 3.5 years. I am compressing all of that into, here's how it works, okay? The final summary is the 120 days is to get to a level where you're ready to go 
you should be ready to go live in my estimate in 120 days broken up into sets of 40 your first 40 days concentrating and working through videos now you should also be executing here a lot of people are like oh i'm just gonna sit back and they're like oh and they i see a lot of you guys posting screenshots of you know got your feet up on your couch and you got Vinny up on the big screen okay that sounds amazing look folks it's you're not going to learn this through osmosis you need to take this like a class be at your desk have your notepad ready maybe on your couch with your notes okay if that if you're going to do it i just want to make sure that you do this and do this well if you're going to do it on your couch fine you got a way to take your notes this is a very important point here because a lot of times i'll come back and we're getting on our one-on-one -on -one phone calls with you guys and you guys are missing like key pieces and i'm like did you watch the video backwards i'm like no that's remember it's a two finger salute it's reverse in the golden ropes oh that's right it's a reverse in a flag if it's flagging and you know what a flag looks like right reverse if it's a flag it's reversing so if it's up it's that oh that's right i'm like again these are things that you should already know if you're gonna be a two finger salute player i'm giving that example right there that you should know the stuff about your strategy so if you watch through the videos in order and then you want to come back remember you're choosing three to four strategies that you want to master first in the first 40 days and then we're going to talk about those on that phone call but those three or four strategies you should kind of maybe go back and watch the videos that are specific to those strategies okay i'm just saying hint hint nudge nudge i'm trying to help you with your learning process this is my suggestion for how to learn okay go back and watch those videos again maybe one time right before maybe that phone call with me um so then you have your phone call the little red bat phone right here <laughs> old school phone I'm sure some of you kids don't know what a phone looks like like this you're like that's a phone <laughs> yes Cell phones, but this is a, this is a Vinny Bat phone, you know, home phones back in the day. So you make your call right here and we'll have another one right here along your path of learning. Okay. Now here, this is a section where we're going to learn how to lose well. You should be practicing executing here. So I'm not telling you don't practice executions in the first set of 40 days. You do want to practice again, watch a video, practice that video, watch a video, practice that video, or watch a few videos and then practice those things that you took in your notes in market replay in live sim. For a short okay. Practice. Remember, before you go trading live, you need to spend some time in sim. In this entire 120 days, our assumption is that you're going to be practicing in sim and demo, and then you're going live over here. Okay. Here is your big, you know, go live date right over here. Right. Boom. We're going live over here. Okay. So middle 40 days, I'm focusing on losers. Okay. Focusing on stops. Make sure that your stops are proper. Remember, we only have four types of stops. We've got stops behind a dot, stops behind a cross, or stops behind a PRZ. That's it. Right. Now, mind you, uh, some people are like, well, what about the two-finger salute, Vinny? Well, technically, that's still PRZ. We draw the box right there for you. It's a potential reversal zone. Think about what PRZ stands for. Again, solve the problem for yourself. Understand that if I tell you something, it, I've thought it through. I promise it's probably not me being wrong about it. Make sure you understand. Even a two-finger salute is a PRZ. You guys get that? Like, anybody else needs to spread that word for us? A two-finger salute also has a PRZ. It is a box. They'll put your stop back behind the box. It is a PRZ, potential reversal zone. And we're looking for the reversal for entry. And again, reversal is an overused term. Everybody's, does everybody realize that everybody's a reversal trader? Did you know that? 100% of people are reversal traders. And somebody's, oh, I'm a breakout trader. It doesn't matter. You're trying for a pullback. And that pullback is to reverse back in the direction of the continuation. You're trying to find the best place for entry. That's what you actually ideally want. Even if you say you're not, even continuation traders are reversal traders. They are trying to find the pivot at which that turns. That's what our system does very good at. That's the whole SMLK concept. That is the whole dot principle on two legs of equal distance. That is the Elliott wave principle plus multi-fib where we get our fibella dots, which are so powerful for our entries. But again, do not use a dot all by itself. Please, 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 people do not use the dots by themselves. It is a dot combo. The dot helps with minimum your risk long. to go Look if i'm long. entering in on an hmd the stop is at the bottom of the dot it's literally could be three or four ticks all right it's amazing that's how our profit factors work and why our system is so successful is because we stop properly which is what you're going to focus on here in those middle 40 days have i iterated and driven that point home enough yet all right yes Freddie, you reiterated got it okay yes your stops four types of stops right there that's it now mind you if you want to include close yes you want to be very familiar with the close button i want you closing out before you hit your stops. And I talked to you guys about that. Protect your stop like it's your baby. Don't let the market touch your stop. And by that, I don't mean move your baby, okay? Do not move the stop. The baby is in place. Do not move the stop. You close it out, which means the stop, the close button is the savior for your stop. Do not let the market touch the stop. You close it out yourself, right? Don't get married to any trade. Date it, don't marry it, okay? Uh, speed date, <laughs> maybe Tinder date. <laughs> Tinder date your trades, folks. It's a quotable by Vinny right there, there you go. All right, now in the final 40 days is where things get super fun. What do we do in the final 40 days? Now we're focusing on big winners, okay? We wanna maximize our trades here in the final 40 days. We wanna work on our sizing, okay? We want to size up. We wanna work through our five trades. We're really focusing on, a lot of people start to focus too much on five trades. Folks, pay attention to what I just said here. A lot of you guys are trying to do five trades in this section. That is wrong, wrong. On the ah, do not, you're not focusing on five trades in your middle 40 days. Pause, dramatic pause inserted here. See what I just said? Do not come to me being like, well, Vinny, I took my five trades today. I am telling you, as I said in our videos before, 
you are taking as many trades as you humanly possibly can in these sections of 40 days. Take every swing you can. Get into bad trades. Get out of them. I want you to work on your stops. I want you to put things in the proper location in your first set of sections. The five trades is where you start to focus here in the final 40. Everybody get that? It's a lesson I really want to cover here tonight because, again, we've gotten some people that, again, we've got a lot of people coming in right now because we've you know started to pick up some attention, all right? From a lot of places and we're growing fast so we got a lot of people coming in i want these i want this to hit home today everybody needs to watch this i'm going to kind of put this at the beginning of everybody's video series to watch this again because as you're coming through here you need to understand where you're going so that you take the proper steps along the way in this very pivotal and key 120 days so that we can maximize that and get you there which is not just about sitting around you know like these other places that are hokey pokey and telling you to like study for the next four years of stuff and they send you another dvd and sell you up on the next course and all that kind of stuff no just focus in do this well spend 120 days and spend it wisely that is the focus right here in the final 40 days we are focusing on those five trades on our five trade sheet okay that's when you get to kind of pull out that big five trade sheet and go to town on it focusing on on trades one and two on the left over here trades one and two what do we do go in the water quarter position okay Trades three, four, five. We're looking to increase our size across trades three, four, and five. If you just keep this as your standard operating procedure, knowing what the rules are, it will become apparent when you need to bend or slash break those rules to either trade more or less based on what the market is giving you. Remember, we are trading in, we are thriving in chaos. Assume the market is in a chaotic state. We are just waiting until the bag drops and we go in, we grab the bag, right? Some days the market's dropping a bunch of bags. Some days it's dropping very few, right? We can't control that. So our system is not... This homeostasis state of, oh, I've always got to take five trades. I've always got to do this. No, but this should be your standard operating procedure. A business, all businesses should have standard operating procedures. When, you know, apply the standards at all times, except when necessary. When exceptions come, you will know. Like, you know, yesterday. Yesterday was a day to push it, right? I traded three sessions yesterday. Mind you, if I had dropped out the middle one, I probably would have had less drawdown and maybe even had an even bigger day yesterday. Who knows? But yes, I pushed it yesterday because, again, yesterday was a day. I mean, you heard audio box click. And da, 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 da. I mean, activity was going, so VIX up, ticks up. And then there are days when it's just quiet. Okay, but when people are forcing trades on slow days, that's not, it's not going to be you know highly profitable. I'm not saying you can't be profitable, but it's not going to be a highly profitable day. If the market's not giving out candy, you can't force it. You, you can't do a shakedown. Like, Give me that money. Shake it, shake You know, there's no shakedowns here. Okay. All right. So final 40 days is where stuff gets really fun. We're going to work on increasing our size. You'll learn how to half on, half off add, adding to positions, building positions, not like other trade rooms where they're like, you know, this position's working against me. I'm going to add to my position. I'm going to right, dollar cost average in. And no, that, that's the, I'm telling you, like the... If you knew what those people really were doing and you really know who they were, you would find out why you don't want to do it. And just, um, you have to, if you don't know, just trust me on that. What they're showing you is most of the time not true. It's it's a lot of faking, a lot of bacon out there. And just beware, okay? Don't fall into those traps. Um, but that final 40 days, we're working on sizing. This is where things get really fun. This is where the five trades comes in. Because when you go here on your go live date, now from this 40 days, this is the key. This is where things will unlock and you're ready to flip the switch from sim to live. Okay? And it should be the same. You should be automatically, you take the skill sets that you learned here in the 40 days where you're taking small stops. Okay? You're nice still applying that here in the, the final 40 days, small stops. And now you're working on being able to visualize when that trade is going to go beyond target one. Okay, There's you know, three target scenarios, target one, target two, and then runner. Right, That's kind of standard practice. But what I teach you guys is T1 is the option. Okay, Remember, T1 can become your T3. This is, you'll start to estimate when you can take T1 and throw it out. When I say throw it out, right? You say, okay, I'm pushing it out, throwing it out, taking, grabbing T1 with the tag, pushing it out because I think that one can get me some more, I'll get more ticks out of that. Maybe I'll put it out to target two. Maybe I'll put it beyond target two. You'll learn that, focus that in the final 40 days. Remember these first two, I'm focusing on targets one and targets two. We live on target one and target two. This is what I just said. You make your living on T1 and T2. Now dramatic pause. What did I just say? You live on target one, target two. Understand? Uh, KC, this was his turning point. If you guys have watched the interview with KC, that was his turning point when I had this conversation over the phone with him. And I really do. I want to cut down the phone calls, honestly. As we move forward and the new website comes out and things, I'm going to be doing a lot less one-on-ones. Okay, I'm spending a lot of time on one-on-one calls. You guys know who get on the call with me. I go on and on forever, and I'm spending that individually. It's not a good use of my time, but it is, I think, important for you guys. And I want a lot of great traders to succeed. But I think I can also deliver that in video format and i'm going to be focusing on doing that taking all the things that i've learned with people over these last five years talking to individuals on the phone and getting them to the levels of success that you guys have seen here i've learned a lot and now i can apply it in mass a okay that's what even this video here is doing you guys gotta follow that um so in that final uh final 40 days you're looking to get yourself to a point where you are ready to flip the switch to go live right here and it should just be a flip of the switch so your first 40 you have learned Middle 40, you've learned Last how to down. lose. On the twos. And in your final, you learned how to big win. Um, I'll do an E for education. <laughs> okay, learn how to lose well, educate here, learn how to lose well, executing, 
and then how to win big in your final. If you practice these two things after, I mean, look, this is basic. This is gonna be your baseline knowledge. Everybody should know the facts and the things coming out of this. This is where wisdom begins between these two sections. This is the application of this section. Then, so then right here, you'll be able to flip that switch and go live. Now, are you gonna be a master at this point? No, right? People are like, well, I'm not a master. I'm at the 100, 100 days, but I'll, I'll tell you a couple things. Ready? New set of notes. Watch what happens around your 90 day mark, okay? A lot of you people get nervous before your 90 days. You're like, well, I'm getting, I, I don't know, I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm not uh, uh, on day 30, right? On day 20, day 40 maybe. Oh, I'm a month in and I'm just, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know how, like everybody else is making so much money in the room. Uh, what am I doing? What am I? Uh, focus. Worry about that when you hit day 90. Come say something to me around day 90. Something happens around day 90 in your learning process, okay? That this light bulb moment goes off. You've practiced it, you've executed on it, you've the stuff that yeah, you've learned in the video starts to apply, and you have what we call the Eureka moment or the light bulb moment. Okay, the light bulb goes off, and you're like, oh man, I get it. Okay. If you don't get it before 90 days, okay, settle in. Keep going through the program, trust the process. Okay. This is what I would try to tell you to do. Trust the process, settle in, calm down. Okay, like my like my buddy I talked to today, he knows who he is. I'm not trying to call him out. I I, I love you enough to tell you what you need to hear. Trust the process, settle in, calm down, calm your jets. You're not gonna learn it all in the first video, okay? There are a lot of videos, go through the videos. Um, and still, it's not like, oh, you know, thousands of videos I gotta go through, no. Okay, there, there's there's about, you know, 150. Oh, and that's everything from your watching action item, um, you know, real live action, you're watching everything from demonstrations to, you know, the actual training itself. You know, I know it sounds like a lot. It sounds like, well, 150 videos, oh, it sounds like you're just trying to push it. Look, you can take your time if you want, or you can watch two or three videos a day and you can complete the whole thing in the 40 days and you continue through and get through your 120 days. But at 90, you'll notice you'll get that light bulb moment. At that 90 day mark, you're gonna feel a lot better. As you hit the 120 days, you will be confident and ready to start taking trades. I'm fairly confident in that and I can't guarantee it, but my confidence is from my experience with a lot of traders, okay? Right around that 120 days, it's a good one, okay? And you know, there's a biblical perspective around 40 days, right? There is a set of trial that is a magical number, right? I even do workout sets of 40. Why are you like, so like oh, Benny, what do you do for your workout program? Well, these are sets of 40, okay? Everybody else is doing sets of 30. God said the perfect number of trial is 40, right? So I'm doing three sets of trials with you guys, right? Going through a trial of 40, going through a trial of 40. When you're done with three sets of 40, folks, you're gonna be ready. You're gonna feel ready, you're gonna go. Now, that's at 120 days. I told you, you're like, well, hold on a minute, Benny. I thought you said it was, what about that six months thing? How does that six months come in there? Okay, well, you're at four months with 120, right? So the 120 days, you're right at, you know, divide that out by 30s. 30 in a month, you're at four months here. So how long do you have to be going live and going to master what we're doing here? Another two months. There it is. You guys got it? That's it. That's what I want to teach you here tonight. That's what you needed to drive home. This is what you need to know as you're going through the program. This is how you should feel. This is how you should deal and the results, speak, the results will speak for themselves, okay? Speaking of results, let's look at the trading contest where we currently are. If you're wondering about like, well, Vinny, do you suggest to start with 2,500? I wanna dispel that rumor again as well. Do I suggest starting with 2,500? Do I? No, I'm gonna say it right up front. No, $2,500. Like, well, Vinny, I saw $2,500 in one of your videos. Yes, you saw it. <laughs> do not recommend this, but people ask me, what is the absolute minimum? I say 2,500, why? Because this allows you to trade five contracts on three out of the four E-minis. You can successfully trade three of those. Go watch the small account challenge, how I started. I could not trade the NASDAQ, why? Because the NASDAQ is $1,000 per contract. But RTY, ES, and the YM are $500 a contract. There are others, 6E, 6J, 6A, all $500 each. So that means you can trade five, uh, five contracts, which means you can trade five sizes. The very first trade for a toe in the water would be one. Quarter position would be two. Middle would be three. Full position, four. Full plus, be five. Get it? you do need to be able to have adjustable size. Just like a great poker player, again, chip leader on the board has more options for how they can go. You need to know to go small when things are not there, but when you got when you got everything going your way, go in, go big. This is how you maximize your profits. Think about what I just said. It does not mean you're gonna become profitable. You don't have to do that to be profitable. I've always said this, you do not have to be perfect to be profitable. That is a huge mistake. A lot of people think this. You do not have to be perfect to be profitable, folks. Remember this. Not have to be perfect. But this is a game where, again, there are there are winners, there are losers. But you know that there are some times where like a whole team can win, right? But you don't. You're not necessarily the MVP. Okay. A lot of people keep focusing on the MVP. Wow. Look, the MVP. Like that's a different story. It's like playing on a battlefield. Your team might win, but you're not. Maybe you're not the top down server, but your team won. Okay. You still won. You're winning. It's not about winners and losers exclusively. It's how big you win. That's what I just said. How big do you win? We focus on that in the final 40 days. 
adjusting your size. But when you're going live, you're going to understand what I mean by that whole 2,500. 2,500 is the absolute minimum. Is it my suggested? No. Vinny, what is your official suggested? I suggest at a minimum, my suggested minimum comfortable starting location is $8,000. Now, if you can do more than that, great. In fact, I tell everybody all the time, like, I don't know why people all know that there is a 25K PDT rule, right? And for some reason in stocks, they're like, oh, I'll do PDT, no problem, 25K. They figure out how to get 25K for stocks, which is really terrible. 25K in stocks is like a major, major disadvantage. But if you take that 25K and applied it to futures, you would be beyond the absolute, my recommended minimum at 8,000. You would then be able to fund two accounts, like I tell you to do, in sub accounts so that you can put, how do I do it? You guys, you guys watch this video, like there's a whole detailed video of this. I'm gonna shoot this real quick. Put 8K in one account. 8k in a second account this is going to be a sub account this is how you pay yourself when you make money from your live trading here this goes you're applying it on your first account you transfer that fund like let's say that you made um the bare minimum you made 500 dollars. let's go green here you made 500 dollars that day you do not keep that in this account you do not do 8500 when you're starting okay do tempting screw yourself up what you do is you put it back to 8k you put that 500 over here this account that 8500 on day one okay then day two you make another now that 9000 day three 9500 you following this maybe make a thousand you're at 10,500 what does this account set at still at 8k you understand this is called working capital concept. This is a working capital concept. Again, this, you're not going to be taught this anywhere else. I teach this exclusively. I'm pretty sure I made this up. <laughs> I don't, I've never seen this taught anywhere. This is what I came up with. I think this is the best way to solve yourself from blowing out accounts, all that other kind of stuff. Your max drawdown on this account, um, they already have a halt on this in your broker, uh, the ones that we use. Okay, So you're not going to blow out the whole account. You always have something. And if you have this amount over here, if you have a negative day, because you're like, well, what happens if I have a negative day? Okay, so let's play that. So minus 500. Well, that goes back this way. See? So if that day you went down and you lost, I don't know, you lost 500 for some reason, 7,500, do you start the next day with 7,500? No. You now do a little transfer. Boop. So next morning, that account now is back to your working capital account. Now, how do you pay yourself? So when this account gets to whatever you want, you can you can pay yourself however you want. As a business owner, what do I suggest? Do like everybody else does. Pay yourself once a month. Pay yourself twice a month. Every two weeks if you want to do that. I think that's complicated with the whole two weeks thing. I like to do first and 15th, right? Just keeping it simple. First and 15th, go pay yourself. Okay. Do an ACH. Do a wire transfer out once a month or twice a month, but do it out of this account, okay? So 8K and 8K, how much is that? 16,000, right? So you wanna know my at, like my best ideal? 16K to start, all right? I feel like I make this clear in other videos, but it, and I always get people mixed up with it, so maybe it wasn't clear. I'm making this clear now, anybody's asking? So I was 16K divided into two accounts, 8K each, but if you don't have this one to start, okay, that's fine, but you're gonna have to you know deal with things and it's best, you're asking, you're asking me as your mentor, what is best? I am here to give you the best answer, okay? But if you ask me what the minimum is, sure, I can tell you what the minimum is too, but I would not suggest it. This is not my suggested. My suggested ideal, 16K split into two 8K chunks and two separate accounts, one sub, one main. Use this as your working capital account, pay yourself into this one and then pay yourself to your main personal account outside of this one, keeping the 8K here. Why 8K? This could actually be um, 6K, oh, it's 80% of 8K. 10K is easy because it's 10K. You could have less than this. You could have 80% of this in this account. It doesn't have to be equal because the max that you would ever lose in this account is what? The max you could ever lose in a futures trading account in our brokers is 80%. You guys know that? You're literally, your broker will cut you off. You can have a middle of a trade open. They will cut you off at 20%. And you know that's a nice halt that you have automatically with NinjaTrader. So if you guys don't know about that, that now you should know. Okay. Um, so technically, do you have to have 8K? No, I'm telling you what the idea is because I just keeping it simple would be 8K and 8K. Did you do 8K and 5K? Yes. Could you do 8K and will you think that the max that you would draw down is 2K to start? Yes. So could you do 10K? Yes. I think that would work, right? So in a scenario like this, what would it be? Okay, 8K for sure. Okay, look, does everybody understand? I am telling you what is many recommended. 8K must do this, okay? You get to 8K, even when you're on 2500, what I tell you to sprint to, you want to get to 8K as quickly as possible, however you can get there, because it is much easier to trade this size account than it is to be trading of, you know, five contract account. This allows you to trade up to 16 contracts, gives you a lot more flexibility with your toe in the water, quarter position, half position, full and full plus. You have a lot more options around this and it's a lot easier to trade a larger account than it is being, you know, squeaky. So 8K on this side, what if you're like, well, Vinny, I got 10K, would that work? Sure, so what do you do? You put 10K over here? No, put 8K here, you put 2K here, right? Same thing, you're transferring money this way when you win, when you lose. Transfer this money back this way so that you always maintain your same working capital. So you're not having to figure out how many contracts you see. Look, there's psychological things going on here when you do this. 
always knowing if you're starting with the same amount, being psychologically prepared to do that all the time is great. And remember, this is my recommended minimum for anybody starting. Right? More is more. Right? It's like, well, if anyone got more, yes. Dude, we have people in our room that literally their targets are $10,000 per day. We have some big high rollers in here. Okay, I'm not calling anybody out, but we got some folks who literally they tell me, my targets are 10,000 a day. Folks, we have people hitting that. They've got bigger accounts. So you think they're trading with an 8K account? No, these are people starting with 50K, 100K, 200K accounts. Can you do that? Yes, absolutely you can, All right? My personal targets, 3.5 to 4K, that's a million a year. Uh, that's my personal targets, All right? You can go bigger, you can go smaller, but account size matters, right? You are gonna need some account size. You can't magically be like, oh, am I gonna be able to do this with that? As you grow, sure. <clears throat> so once you're comfortable here, you need to manufacture for yourself what your working capital account is gonna be. So can the 8K account be a 10K account? Yes, absolutely. All right, so let's talk to the big, let's talk to the, the folks who come in here with big accounts, All right? So you wanna drop 50K? In your first account, what do I want to put you in your second account? Well, I don't think you need to go necessarily huge on this, right? But I would recommend drop 10K over here in a secondary account, always keeping this account at that 50K mark. So if you had a full day's drawdown, you can put that back over here Again, not expected with our system. Like if that happened right off the bat, it'd be the worst case scenario, it happened on day one. But hopefully you want to instantaneously start to put money over here, right? If you're targeting 10K a day, you put 10K, I mean, now instantaneously on day two, you got 20K over here, right? So again, if you take your loss, can you put it back over here? Yes, but you would want to maintain. Does everybody understand what I'm trying to say is maintain your working capital account, whatever your number is. But you're asking me what my minimums are. You ask me what my recommendeds are. Why 8K? Because that allows you to trade up 16 contracts. That's my standard, my personal. So I know I teach you a lot about how to, and you're going to see me run a lot of 16 contract trades when I'm doing a full size, right? So what's a quarter of that? Well, it's easy. It's four, right? What's half that? Eight. Quarter, quarter to toe. Easy. Ones and twos, right? Really twos. It's kind of my minimum. I, ha I have taken some ones, but I really don't start with the one. I'll, I'll add one on occasion to, to trades. But most of the time, I've got that full flexibility across 8K with 16, up to 16 contracts on the majority of the E-minis, all right? I don't want to beat that dead horse, but I do think this is important to understand because a lot of people, for some reason, I, I think sometimes I just expect that that's just naturally figured it out and I need to stop doing that. Apply it. I'm going to say it out loud. I, I'm going to put it to you and and I haven't talked about the sizing of this working capital account. Again, the old, the video where I go into this in detail, I didn't talk about, so what, what if you wanted to do more? What if, you know, more or less, et cetera. So drilling that home here tonight, this video should be the all encompassing understanding of where we're going, how we're going, how you're going to manage yourself, how you're going to, at the end of the day, our goal is to get you to pay yourself, right? So how do we get there? As a business running trading as a business. That's what we're doing. We're not investing. It was like, well, if I invest, what's my percentage? I'll return. Like anybody who starts with starting to ask me a percentage, I literally just say, listen, we're not investors. We're traders. This is a business. We buy and sell. Okay? We're buying and selling widgets. What are our widgets? Contracts. We buy and sell stuff. We're generating income. You're not investing. Once you've generated enough income, then you can take the big money that you're applying and sending to yourself, and then you can invest. You want to invest whatever you want, right? I personally like real estate and land. I think that's a good investment. Personally, pretty much the only thing I trust these days. Um, so that's my investment style is houses and real estate. And, and land, I'm buying like just flat parts of land now. Uh, when you get a big chunk of money, buy some land. My suggestion, I mean, you guys seen that Jeff Bezos, you guys know how much uh, land that Jeff Bezos and um, Bill Gates are buying up? Farmland buying, uh, let me get me started. Okay, um, so results currently in our contest. Let's take a peek at those real quick here. We are over six figures now in our small account challenge. Um, I don't know, I thought today might, I mean, we had, Ross is in, shooting distance of hitting his 30k target to end the trading contest so when he hits 30k the contest will be over so we're just continuing to trade um with our trading contest um you know until until the boss ross the boss says we're done All right uh we're at two profit factor percentage 65 percent profitable these are our two combos that i'm saying like if you keep those in the right spot you're gonna be good to go 125,440. um we've got 2.21 hold times that's good let's get into the analysis real quick let's take a peek at that mountain we're climbing Looking pretty nice. Liking the look of that. Um, let's uh, let's buy trade. Daily smooths it out a bit, day over day, but also kind of you know hides some of the the, the fun stuff. Let's look at the you know the drawdowns. Let's go into how many days. Um, all right, so we've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lost days. Um, one, two, six. Oh, sorry, uh, man, I've been talking too long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that crossover? Oh, hold on, hold on. This is including, there's a there's a sim day to prove out with, uh, what's his name? Got the sim. There was one trade. Folks, if you're wanting to know, like, oh, he didn't, he's including a sim. That was a loss. Look, see how it went away? I was, <laughs> there's one me proving out that no, I'm not trading, I'm uh, not trading a sim account here. Uncheck, there we go. Um. Okay, I was like, dude, I know I only had six days. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was like, dude, I'm losing my mind there. Right about that little one there. 
<clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice here. Wait, I've been talking too long, there, Vinny. Was this an hour-long video or 40 minutes now? Okay, um, let's go at the dailies again. Biggest trade day. Then look, I didn't give it away. All right, I am just happy after big windfall day. Not giving away, continuing that momentum. I'm feeling pretty good about tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's Wednesday, folks. Wednesday, it's FOMC day tomorrow. Got lots of cool opportunities. Um, of course, I'll probably be... I'm OCD about the website right now, so I may end up staying up all night trying to work fixing the website, get the website looking proper, um, because we, there's just too many issues bothering me. So if I don't, you know, I don't, I'm not going to trade tired tomorrow, but my, my thought is with the momentum that we got going on here, feeling like tomorrow's probably going to be a, a good, good day. We're going to have extra volatility coming in with FOMC. Um, I think there's a lot of blood in the water. There's a lot of people speculating on what's going on, uh, macroeconomic events and stuff um, that I think are really going to give for some some volatile days here in the next few weeks. Half hour day there. You know, we know about this. I trade the end of day because um, of my personal schedule. This would be more important um, on full auto. When you're on full auto, those will matter more. There's hour of day, day of week. Yes, Monday shot up. Wednesday is really still our best day. This just happens to be our big outlier day. Happened on the Monday. Um, but Wednesday is going to be the best just from, again, tomorrow's going to be Wednesday. More volatility. we got crude oil inventories. VIX um, kicks up with that. And at 2 p.m. FOMC numbers, etc. on Wednesdays. And, of course, the holidays get pushed to um, Wednesday activity from when we have Mondays off. Um, look at drawdowns. There, i got to go to dailies and max drawdowns. So intraday, um, you know, we can see our, you know, city increases. Our account size has gotten larger. You know, we are in, you know. Drawdowns are larger. Now, again, a lot of people, I'm going to point this out um, for this is specifically around the trolls. Oh, look at that. $11,000 loss. Oh, that's way too much. Look, they all think that's like in a single trade. Let's look at, let's go by trades <clears throat> for a second, bro. Individually, like the biggest trade loss, $540. And my minimum trade size is two. So that's a two contract trade of a loss for $540 is the max over this entire contest. Let that sink in for a minute, folks. So you notice that, yes, my, you notice that this is stable. I mean, it kind of looks like a little bit of a bubble. It's kind of cool enough, but think about it. So are my trades, am I risking more? This is what they keep saying, right? This is for, you know, idiot kids like Shalom Benzev. Shalom, hey bud. Newsflash, kid. Like, if you're going to call yourself analytics, analytic trader, anal analytical anal kinetics, bro, like, get analytical about it. Trade over trade, <laughs> the max trade. It just happens to be what happens if you get multiples of these in a row. Okay. So if you get a series of losers, you understand that, okay, 540 and 540 and 540, you see how those add up and then multi-contract? That's what those are. When those are, you're like looking at some max drawdown, it's not like, oh, look at that trade. You lost a big trade loss. No, it's, it's not what that is. The individual trades, again, he's probably never even looked at this before. Probably over his head and he's never traded. You know, he can't he can't trade worth a lick. All right? But he's like, oh, look at that. He lost $11,000 on a trade. No, it's not a trade. That was from peak high to low valley. That the entire drawdown there, which could be how many trades? Who knows? That could be 10 trades. It could be five trades. It could be eight trades, right? Now, probably not more than eight, but during this, yes, that drawdown period, it's called a drawdown period. Everybody understand that? Get that? So you can really see, that's why I always tell people, like, click the trades and see where you're really at. Okay, did you have any major outliers? No, I mean, we're still pretty steady, consistent across the boards for our ATM series. Go. All right, any questions around that? Let me know, but um, since I got you in. See these uh, these Twitter trolls like, like oh look at that massive drawdown he dropped down ten percent. Um, again, this is not investing, folks. This is, um, I think we have seen all the goodies cumulative. No too much difference. Um, there we are. There is a mountain we're climbing there on. On our day fifty five of the trading contest, we are smashing. I think Ross is at uh, twenty five or twenty eight thousand now. We are at one hundred and twenty five thousand dollars that is the algo box difference folks and i'm pretty sure we're spending less time trading than he is too if you do this by an hourly rate when i'm coming in trading 30 minutes 60 minutes at a time doing pretty good today was like one trade my daughter was actually in here and we traded it uh let me show you this trade that we took here today um bring in the es so here's the top side this is a beautiful one. she's like oh pink dot because uh really was like ah, i'm probably not gonna trade you see this double dot over here inside of a prz you're like okay you know i ended up entering in right here I didn't even take this for very long. Took off some right here. Took the rest off right here. Didn't even hold it all the way down. That's our single trade there from today on the ES. And I might have taken those minutes. It was long enough for me and my daughter to be in here. Just hanging out. My son was in here throwing stuff around. And she's making comments on it. She could have made that trade. Awesome. So, again, I think that our system is simpler. I think it's easier. I think it's um, less stress than the old roster and his... You know, momentum chasing, gotta find what's what stock's running. Oh I gotta oh, I gotta get my I gotta get my skills or my, my scanner, my failure, and then oh, oh here comes the in and out second sell to my members. <laughs> that's 
I'm sorry, Roz. And the entire ICT fraud network that takes 1.5 years to not master and barely touch the surface and still suck out, and lose all your money. You Stay away from ICT. <laughs> You're welcome. That was my trolls. Thanks for hanging out for me. Pippi Robbie, let's my, 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 my,